Welcome back to another Mind Test Mod Review. Today we are looking at the Crafty Arts Mod. And as you can see in front of us here, this adds uh, a couple nodes. There's actually uh, several variations on a few of these, which we will get to in a minute. Uh, let's start with the one node that does not have any variations, which would be this tinfoil. So we can see here that uh, it's, a, it's a very thin node, just a little under a sixteenth of a node thick. And you can place it on surfaces to, uh, to yeah, kind of wrap it in tinfoil, I suppose. So here we see we have stone, and then on the two faces we have the tinfoil node. Now, of course, the issue that you always have with such types of nodes is that if we want to place something onto these two, and say we had something placed on both of these, uh, we actually can't because this whole node space is being filled with this one node. So you can't actually do interior corners. Uh, exterior corners work great though. Um, now another thing I've noticed here, um, this node is set up as, what is it, buildable too. So you can take any other node. Let me just grab some grass here. Let's grab two things of grass. So I can just place the grass and it'll replace it. And then I can also replace grass with this, um, which you might be saying, okay, well, that's not really a big deal. And no, it's not really until we realize, whoops, let me look at the craft recipe here, that we're using three pieces of tin to make nine pieces of tin foil. So basically each sheet of tin foil is a third of a tin ingot. And we're just, we're just losing it. Uh, also, yeah, sometimes the, like the, um, the placement prediction seems a little off, like I would be expecting this to place onto this face, but it's placing on this face. So it's replacing itself in the same spot and I'm still losing one, which I think is normal. If I grab a bunch of this grass and then I place the grass on top of grass. Yeah, that is the normal to be expected behavior of that. So yeah, works great for exterior corners, maybe not quite so much for interior, but that is the, the only node that has no variations to it. Uh, then we have the buttons. Um, I will just mention this. The, these nodes are just all decorations. Um, they don't really serve any, any great purpose for anything other than just being decorative. So to make the initial button, you're gonna need four pieces of wood and some string, and that'll give you two buttons. And then any other button or any color of button, I suppose, you can create just by dyeing any button that color that you want. So for example, the red button, we can use any button and red dye and we'll get a red button. So I can use a black button, I can use a yellow button, I can use a green button, I can use an orange button. Any color button doesn't matter. I just need the red dye and I will get a red button. Um, so buttons can be placed, they kind of look like uh, dinner plates actually. Wait, where's, where's, where's my button? Oh, down here, okay. So buttons can be placed on walls, like so. They can be placed on the ground, obviously. Um, can they be placed on undersides? I would expect that they could. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. And we have a button on the underside of a tree. Very neat. So yeah, a lot of different colored options for the buttons. I don't have any dye on me, so I can't really demonstrate dyeing it, but um, yeah, you get the idea. And then we have what is my personal favorite, the chalk. Because who doesn't need chalk? That's a rhetorical question. Don't answer in the comments if you don't need chalk, because I don't really care. Um, we'll, first, let's take a look at the craft recipe. It's pretty simple. It's, uh, it's chalk and dye. Um, yeah, so you just need a, oh, sorry, clay. It's a clay lump and dye. Same for all of them. You just need to find yourself some clay and then dye it with some dye. You get the idea. Uh, and then this works. Uh, I mean, technically you can't really use chalk on grass per se. Oh, that's, that uses up very quickly. So each piece of chalk gives you one chalk line. That's not what I was expecting. 
I anticipated uh, that the chalk would be like a tool and that you would get more than one use out of a piece of chalk. Um, but okay, uh, you just have to find yourself a bunch of clay, I suppose. Uh, and yeah, you can you can make chalk art. Now, you're kind of limited in your chalk art ability because uh, this is using the, what is it, rail-like draw type. So they automatically connect. And yeah, you're pretty much limited to straight lines, corners, T's, and full-on intersection, intersections, which actually somehow I managed to not create a single four-way intersection here. Uh, we'll have to we'll have to rectify that. Oh, and when you break the chalk, you don't get anything back. Oh, that's it's not like a problem per se, but I don't have any clay on me or dye. Um, can the white chalk just be made out of a lump of clay? I feel like I could probably find some clay out here in the water without too much trouble. I see some out there. I see some right here. Okay, perfect. Please hold. We need to do a little excavating here. We got us some chalk. Except it's not actually chalk. It's clay at this point. Which, uh... Side note, I don't think clay technically ever becomes chalk. I believe they're two completely different compounds. I, what? But I thought, how do we make white chalk then? I need white dye and I need dark gray dye to make the gray chalk. Man, but I ain't got any white dye. <sighs> that means we'd have to go exploring to find flowers. Let me just take a quick, quick little peeky look, see? Um, I'm not seeing any flowers. Oh, but I bet there's flowers over here. Let's, uh, let's fly in over and steal us a couple flowers real quick. Make some dye and all this to show that you can actually make a full four-way intersection out of the chalk. What an absolute waste of your time. Oh, can I make? I can't. I don't even know what I'm asking. Okay, we got our flowers. Let's head back. We also got some random seeds. I don't need those. I will throw those and let the fishies eat them. I hope you choke. There are no fishes, and the fish won't choke on the seeds. So, <laughs> so don't worry, Peta. You can you can calm your your pretty self down. There are no fishes that are going to choke on the seeds. All right, we got 12 pieces of chalk. Let's finish this. All right, so we need a four-way full-on T intersection. It's not called a T intersection. What is that called when it's a four-way? An X intersection? A plus sign intersection? I think it's just called an intersection. And then you have a T when there's only three. But I think when there's four, it's actually less words. Very interesting. Anyways, here is our beautiful masterpiece. This is the floor plan to the grand suite at the um at the clarion yes not sponsored by the way but clarion if you're interested in sponsoring uh definitely hit me up um yeah so there we have some chalk beautiful beautiful chalk art oh one thing i did want to point out because i was going to try this when i was setting up and i found it can't uh you can't put the chalk onto onto walls it only works on the floor so, yeah, you get fun things like this because these nodes, you know, exist. So it places there, but these not so much. And then on top of the buttons, I can technically put chalk. That'll pull off a piece on the wall, but, you know, that's fine. Um, yeah, so no, no graffiti on the walls here. Sorry, kids. I guess the rail-like draw type only lets you put it on the floor. Not on walls. So the more you know, right? Anyways, that is going to do it, I think. That should be all of the all of the nodes. Again, many different colors. If you are interested in downloading this, 
links will all be on my website, which will be linked down in the video description below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.